So uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about the different modes of uh, 8255. That is nothing but programmable peripheral interface. Now you know uh, this programmable peripheral interface uh, has three ports. Uh, that is port A, port B, and port C. It is well known to everyone. This uh, 8255 has three ports, and these are port A, port B, and port C. And you know, port A has eight pins, port B has eight pins, and port C also has eight pins which is divided into two groups each of the group is having four pins so the upper portion is known as cu and the lower portion is known as cl lower portion means from c0 to uh, c3 so 0 1 2 3 four pins are there these are known as cl and uh, the upper part is starting from c4 and it is up to C7. So here also four pins are there uh, and combinedly this is known as CU. Okay. So uh, according to our requirement, uh, we can use this port in different ways. Like uh, suppose in some work or in some application, we need to use port A as an input. Sometimes we need to use port B as an input. So according to our uh, requirement, whatever we want, we can use this port. And how to use this port, uh, how to select, uh, how to identify whether port, is, port A is working as an input or output or port B is working as an input or output, or maybe for port C also, that is decided by the content of control word register. So you know 8255 has one 8 bit control word register. So whatever the content you are putting in control word register, depending on that value, your uh, uh, that decision will be taken whether you are using port A as an input or output or port B as an input or output or port C as an input or output. OK. So different modes of 8255. So your 8255 has basically two different mode. One of the mode is known as BSR, which is known as, which is known as bit set reset mode. The other mode is known as input output mode. And input output mode can be further divided into three categories. Mode zero, the other name of mode zero is simple input output mode. Then the second one is mode one. Uh, the other name of mode one is handshake input output mode. And the third one is mode two, uh, which is also known as bidirectional input output mode. Now, as I already told, whether uh, you are working, you are, the working uh, of 8255, whether uh, your port A is selected as an input or output, or port B selected is an input or output, that will be totally decided by the content of control word register. Now your 80, eight, sorry, 8255, 8255 has a control word register. 8255 has a control word register, which is of 8-bit register. Okay, so the content of this 8-bit will decide in which mode you are working in which mode your 8255 is working. Okay, so D7, D6, D5, D4, D3, D2, D1, and then D0. So you can easily understand eight different bits are there or positions are there in control word register of 8255. OK, so depending on the content of this control word register, you can select port A as an input or output, port B as an input output, or maybe port C input and output. Now, what is BSR mode? So BSR mode 
is with where you can set or reset the different bits of C port. So this BSR will only work for C port. OK, this is in this mode. It is controlling the different pins of C port. OK, it is not having any uh, relation with port A or port B. Okay. So BSR mode, the full form of BSR is bit set reset mode. Now, how it will work as bit set reset mode? If you keep, if you put the last bit of the CW or control word register, last bit means MSB actually, I'm trying to uh, mean. If you put the MSB as zero, then it will work as BSR mode. If you put one in the MSB, it will work as input output mode. OK, so in input output mode, you need to put this value as one. If you want to work this uh, um, 8255, as input output mode, then you need to put D7 as one. And if you put if you want to work your uh, 8255 as a BSR mode. Then you need to put this content here. Uh, I can replace B by D, then it will be easy for you to understand. This uh, D7, you need to put zero, then it will be working as a BSR mode. So in MSB of CR uh, control word register, so you can understand in uh, the control word register, if you put MSB or more significant bit equal to zero, then you are selecting BSR mode. And if you give MSB as one, you are selecting the input output mode. OK, now as I'm uh, as I have started BSR mode, I'll be completing this one. Then I will discuss about the input output mode. So in BSR mode, I already told that uh, you need to give the most significant bit as zero. And in this mode, only you can set or reset the different pins of C port. In this mode, there is no relation with the port of A and B. So you are not controlling port A and port B in this BSR mode. Only you can set or reset the different pins of port C. OK, now, so if you want to work in BSR mode, this is 0 MSB. Then the next three values, these are don't care. So don't care means we can put 0, 0 or 1, 1, 1. But generally, will consider the value as 0, 0, 0. Now, the next three bits, that is D3, D2, and D1, this, these three bits. So these three bits will select which pin you are considering. Suppose if you put D3, D2, D1 as 0, 0, 0, then your C0 means your a pin 0 of C port is getting selected. So C0 is getting selected. If you put 001, C1 is getting selected. If you put 010, C2 is getting selected. If you put 011, C3 is getting selected. Likewise, this combination you can take up to 111 where C7 will be getting selected. So as you have three positions, means three bits are there using that. Uh, three bits, you can generate eight different combination. And for each of the combination, a specific pin will be selected from port C. OK, now come to the last one. What is D0? D0 is nothing but what pin you have selected by putting uh, your required component, uh, required value in D1, D2, D3. That particular pin you can make set or reset. Suppose, for example, if I have given 0, 1, 1 in this 
three positions means in D3, D2 and D1. So what does it mean? What does it mean? I'm selecting C3. OK, now I have selected C3, but I didn't tell what is the value of C3, whether it is one or zero that I can do by putting the required value in D0 location. So if I put one, then the value of C0, C3 will be set. If I put zero, then the value of C3 will be zero. OK, so this D3, D2, D1 is selecting a specific pin of port C and what is the value available in that pin that is decided by the content of D0. If you give zero, then that particular pin will have the reset value. If you keep one, then that particular pin will have the sad value. Sad value means value one. OK, now suppose one problem is given to you. Suppose one problem is given to you. OK, suppose one uh, um, problem is given to you. Uh, like the, the question is. You have to set. Uh, you have to set the you or you have to select. OK, you have to select or set the pin number three. OK, in bit set reset mode, pin number three of port C actually pin number three of port C. OK, this question is given to you. So you write some assembly language program so that you can set the uh, value of port C. So you know. Uh, if you want to uh, set the value of port C, first of all, you need to work in BSR mode. So in order to make BSR mode in the control word register, first content, if you can remember, this was the control word register content here in BSR mode. So you need to keep this D7 as zero because you are working in BSR mode. OK, then the next three values it has to be 0, 0, 0. As in the question, it was asked to select port uh, pin number 3 of port C. So how to select pin number 3? You know, 0, 1, 1 you need to give in uh, D3, D2, D1. 0, 1, 1 value you need to give. By giving the value of 0, 1, 1, you can select pin number 3 of port C. And how to set the value? You need to put 1 in the D0 content. So what is the value? In hexadecimal, if you want to represent this number in hexadecimal, what is the value generated? Zero from here and by combining these four digit, you know, zero, one, 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 it, it means seven. So the value is nothing but zero, seven in hexadecimal. Now how to write the program? Because um, now the thing is when you are using uh, your 8255, uh, to uh, means along with your 8086, suppose you are using 8086 as a main controller or microprocessor actually, not controller. 8086 is your microprocessor. Along with that one, you have connected your 8255. And here in 8255, you have three different ports. This port A, port B, and port C. So in my question, I told that you select the uh, pin number three of port C. That was the question. So how to select? So definitely you need to take the help of the controller. OK, directly you cannot do by using 8255. You need to take the help of the controller. So what program you need to write? First of all, as you have seen, if you want to select uh, pin number three of port C, you need to give the value of 0F. OK, now where to give the value of 0F? That is also very important. Now what you need to do for that one? As I told, if you want to set the value of port C, you need to take the help of the controller. So first of all, you need to write this instruction. Move. AL comma 0F. 
Okay, and this is a hexadecimal value. Now you know very well that if I want to take the help of processor to select some can to select some uh, pin of 8255, then we need to first identify what should be the con content of controlled word register. Okay, that contained first of all you need to move into AL register because directly you cannot put the value directly you cannot. Uh, uh, means uh, select the C3 without taking the help of 8086. So what you have to do? First of all, you need to take that corresponding value which will be used to select the C3 that you need to take in AL register of 8086. Because if you want to do this type of operation, means if you are connecting some uh, input output device uh, through 8255 with 8086, then you have to take this AL register in 8086, not other register, only AL register you can use. Okay, so you have to write move AL comma 0F. You cannot use the other register to do that operation because you know if you want to use this input instruction or output instruction at that time, you need to take the help of AL register that is well known to everyone. So that's why I am taking the content in the AL register which I need to transfer to the 8255 control word register. So after that, after taking a 0F to your AL register, you need to use out instruction to give the value to your control word register. Now, so uh, this is these are the instructions basically you need to write first 0f you need to uh, 0f you need to take in al register as your al register is having the value of 0f that value you have to transfer to or send to 8255 so you know if you want to send some data to 8255 from 8086 you need to use this instruction out okay if you want to get some data from 8255 then you need to take the you need to use the instruction in so uh, as you want to transfer some data in control word register of 8255 we need to write out cwr comma al is it a correct instruction means for understanding purpose or for uh, uh, telling the out instruction we can use this format out cwr al but is it uh, valid to use directly CWR, not at all. For your understanding purpose only, I have written CWR. But original case, CWR is having some address. So we need to write, we need to write out that address comma AL. That is the correct format. Okay. For your understanding purpose only, I have written out CWR comma L, but we cannot write out CWR. CWR is written for your understanding purpose. CWR cannot be used as a correct syntax. Okay. We need to give the address of CWR in our instruction. Now, how to find out the address of CWR? Now, when this question is given to you, at that time, definitely in the question, it will be mentioned the address of either port A, port B, port C, or CWR. Okay. Suppose in the question direct CWR address is not mentioned, only the port A address is mentioned. Suppose port A address is given as 80 hexadecimal. So what you need to do? How, if port A is given, how to calculate the CWR register? Uh, uh, how to uh, calculate the uh, address of CWR or control word register? This is very easy to calculate. Now what you need to do? If port A is given 80H, then the next means for port B, it will be 82H. For port C, it has to be 84H. And then for CWR, it has to be 86H. That is the thing you need to remember. 2 to value you need to increment. First 80, then 82, then 84, then 86. So if 80 is given for port A, for port B, the address would be definitely 82. For port C, the address is definitely 84. And for CWR, the address is definitely 86. Okay. Now how? Actually, when we are uh, selecting these different things, you can remember, uh, you know, 
some a1 and a0 lines are there in a255 by which you can select uh, whether you are trying to use port a or port b or port c or cwr so you can remember if you give 0 0 in these two values in a0 and a1 port a is getting selected port a is getting selected if you give 0 1 port b is getting selected if you give 1 0 port c is getting selected if you give uh, 1 1 cwr is getting selected that is well known to everyone if you see the pin diagram of 8255 you can easily understand this thing now so see in port a if the address is 0 0 in the next case port b address should be one value increment is it correct no why not because your 8286 whatever the address the uh, lines are there means you are not directly connecting a1 to the means if i if i use a01 to denote the address line of 8086 and if i use a1 to denote this a1 of 8255 directly these two lines are not connected actually what we are doing actually uh, if i show you this particular thing it will be much more easy for you to understand just wait for a minute yeah so you can see different contents are written a15 a14 a13 a12 a11 a0 and it is up to a00 now what we are doing these lines a00 a01 a02 up to a15 these are the lines of these are the address line of your 8086 and if if i want to connect uh, these two a0 and a a02 with the address line of a0 of uh, your your 8255 generally actually this method is followed uh, this method is followed if i write here then it will be more easy for you suppose a01 is the address line of your 8086 and a02 is the second address line of 8086 so a01 is directly connected to the a1 of your 8255 to select different ports and a02 address line of 8086 will be connected to the a2 of 8255 okay now I have not considered A00 address line of 8086. Okay, so that's why if you make the combination, like if you write A00, A01, A02, so by default I am taking this A00 value as 0. Now A02 and A01, A02 generally representing the A. Uh, 2 of 8255 and A01 is representing the uh, line of A1 of 8255. Now you take the combination, this 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So if you give by default value as 0 in it, is, so see how the address is getting changed. 0, 0, 0. If it is 0, the next value is becoming 2, the next value is becoming 4, the next value is becoming 6. So you can see there is a difference of 2 in the port address. So port A, if it is you are considering 0, then port B is definitely 2, then port C is definitely 4, and the ports, uh, the next last one is CWR is having the address of 6. Okay. Why? Because A00 of 8086 I have not considered at all. So by default, I am putting the value of 0. And A01 of 8086 is connected to A1 of 8255. And A02 of 8086 is connected to A2 of 8255 to select the different ports. Now, if I give 00, so the combination is becoming 000, that is 0. Then 00010, that is 2. Then 0. Uh, 100 zero, zero, that is 4 then 110 one, that is 6 so you can see the difference of 2 is there in the subsequent value of selecting the port so it means whatever example i told here means if the in this problem if it is told like 80h 
for port A, definitely for port B, the address will be 82. So for port C, it will be 84. And for CWR, the address will be 86. So without writing out CWR AL, the exact instruction should be out 86 comma AL. It means AL content is transferred to the address of 86 and it is representing the CWR content. Okay, so similar type of example we can uh, again discuss. Suppose in this uh, current problem, I'm saying uh, the port A address is given as suppose, uh, for example, uh, 71. Okay, port A address is given as 71. I'm telling you have to select uh, select pin number four of this port C. So pin number four, how to select? If you can remember, uh, the combination was 0, 0, 0. If you give then C0, 0, 0, 1, C1, 0, 1, 0, the C2, 0, 1, 1, C3, 1, 0, 0, C4. Now what should be the, so C4 means you need to give 0, 1, 1, uh, 0, uh, sorry, 1, 0, 0 in, uh, this should be in D1, this should be in D2, and this should be in D3. And as you are selecting port C, means you are selecting C4 or any port you are selecting or you are making it enable, you need to make D0 equal to 1. So these values I'm talking about the control word register content, okay? If you can remember this control word register content here, so if you want to select, so directly I'm showing this example here, then it will be easy for you to understand. Uh, let me use the eraser. So for this current problem, you need to select just example I told in this current example, you need to select C4. So C4 means your value has to be 100 here, 100 here. And here you need to give one because you are enabling this uh, port C4. And what about these values? This should be zero and these are zero, zero, zero. So what is the overall hexadecimal value? So for this four zero, it is zero. And the next values are one, 0, 0, 001 and you know 1001 0, 0, 1 is nothing but the value is is it 1001 0, 0, 1? uh yeah 1001 0, 0, 1 means the value will be 9 so you need to give this hexadecimal value in the program so what you need to write in this case so for this problem if this problem is given to you uh, this port a address is given uh, 71 hexadecimal in the question itself and it is asked to select a pin number four of port C then what program you need to write first of all you need to write move uh, this particular value just now we have uh, calculated that is uh, what was the value I need to check 09 so you need to write move a l comma 09 because I told directly you cannot enable this C4 pin you need to take 09 in the AL register and that 09 value what you have taken in AL register that you need to uh, transfer to this control word register. Then only you can select the C4 pin. How to select? You need to use the out instruction and uh, out. So what is the instruction? What is the syntax you need to write out? Uh, now you have to uh, find out the uh, address of the control word register. So I, as in the question, it is written port A 71. So you know port B it will be 73. 2 to value you need to update. Port C it will be 75. So control word register it will be 77. So you need to write out 77 comma AL. So if you execute this instruction immediately, your C4 will be activated. Okay. Now after that, we can see the input output mode. So I will not take uh, much time to describe this one. One will be discussing on the uh, input output mode that time. Uh, I will discuss in a proper way. Here I'm just giving a brief idea regarding input output mode. So as you know, if you want to select the input output mode in the control word register, the D7 content has to be one. OK, now D6 and D5, what they are representing? If you give these values as 0, 0, your mode, to, mode 0 will be selected, as I told, in uh, 8255, when it is working in input output mode, three different modes are there. Mode 0, 
mode 1 and mode 2. So if you give D6 and D5 as 0, 0, mode 0 will be selected. If you give 0, 1, mode 1 will be selected. If you give 1, don't care, means you can give either 1, 1 or 1, 0. In that case, mode 2 will be selected. Now come to D4 position. In D4 position, it is representing port A. So if you give D4 equal to 1, port A is working as an input. If you give 0, port A is working as an output. Now come to D3 uh, position. So for D3, this is representing port C upper. As I already told, port C is having eight pins that you can divide it into uh, two groups. One is port C upper and one is port C lower. So port C upper, uh, this D3 field is controlling port C upper. So if you give D3 equal to one, port C upper pin is working as an input. If you give zero, port C upper pin is working as an output, okay? And you can see D6, D5, D4, and D3. This four field is coming under group A. Why group A? Because here you have port A and port C upper. You can remember when uh, we have discussed the architecture of uh, 8, 2, 5, 5. We have seen two uh, different groups are there. One is group A and other one is group B. So in group A, you have two units. One is uh, port C upper and you have port A and in group B, two units are there, port C lower and you have group B. So this group B uh, also you can uh, find out from this, the uh, from the remaining three content means D2, D1, D0 is controlling group B. So you can see D2 means if you give zero, mode zero is selected. If you give one, mode one is getting selected. Now come to D1, D1 is, uh, whether you want to select port B as an input or output that you can decide by putting corresponding value. If you give one, it is working as an input. Port B will be working as an input. If you, if you give zero, port B will be working as an output. Now come to the D01. D01 is for port C lower. If you give one, it will be working as an input. Port C lower will be working as an input. If you give zero, port C lower will be working as an output. So that's it for this video.